Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Ricky Matthews. All right, we're on a streak of 90 degree heat here. We've had seven days at or above 90, which is nothing too crazy for this time of the year. We have seen stretches as long as 26 days uh, during the month of July before. Now, when we go through the next couple of days, I do expect to add a few more 90s. So as we look at today's highest temperatures, generally around 95 degrees for the Norfolk area. Yep, that's one more check mark onto the uh, stretch. And for Monday, temperatures will be pretty similar to today. So I'll we'll probably add Monday. Now, Tuesday, that's an interesting story. Could see some showers and storms around. May actually manage to be a degree or two cooler than 90. Not much, right? But hey, it's a little bit of uh, cooler temperatures into the area. 95 for Norfolk today. Same thing for Virginia Beach. We'll go for 95 in Chesapeake and generally in the low to mid 90s across much of the area. Sun and clouds through the day. A little bit of a slight chance of a shower in the afternoon. But the big story, once again, the heat index. All right, it's going to be up near 105 degrees this afternoon. And it will certainly feel like that across the region with some spots getting close to 110 this afternoon, especially as you head inland. Now for Monday, not as much humidity, so we'll see a little bit better conditions. It won't uh, be anything you'll significantly notice, but it will be a little bit lower on the actual thermometer when you uh, look at the stats there for the heat index values on Monday. Here's what the satellite and radar looks like this morning. Got a few clouds working their way across parts of Virginia, some showers and storms south and east of uh, the southern outer banks, and we've got mainly high pressure in control of our weather for this afternoon. But look up toward the north and west. All this stormy weather near Chicago and across parts of Michigan and Wisconsin, that is associated with a frontal system that's going to move in as we go into late Monday and Tuesday. So let's walk you through Sunday first, then we'll get to Monday and Tuesday and show you what I mean. Here we are Sunday afternoon. Now watch closely into the afternoon, just like yesterday. Could see a couple spotty showers or storms develop into the middle to late part of the afternoon right across parts of Hampton Road. They should be pretty small and isolated, but they're going to produce a good amount of rain where we do see those pop up. Into the later afternoon and evening, a few opportunities for a few more additional showers as we go later on into the overnight. Uh, and then into Monday, we start off dry. Late Monday afternoon, mainly out towards the west, is when I expect to see some showers and storms approach. Those will be with us in a couple spots as we go into Monday night and Tuesday morning. Then Tuesday afternoon, that's when the better opportunity for some pop-up showers and storms will be. Here we go, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. You can see as that front gets closer to us, we're really seeing a good amount of scattered shower and storm activity for Tuesday. For Monday, the higher severe weather risk is north of us towards the D.C. area and Baltimore. For Tuesday, pretty much our entire region in that level one risk. So main concern being some gusty winds out of those storms as we go into Tuesday afternoon. All right, rain chances next week. Tuesday, pretty good chance for rain. Wednesday, a few linger around as we go into the afternoon. And then Thursday, a bit of a break before more rain opportunities push back in as we head into the later part of the work week into uh, Friday and into the early part of next weekend. 95 today, mostly sunny skies. Tonight we drop down to the 70s. We'll look for a few scattered rain showers at times Monday night into Tuesday with another uh, chance for some showers and storms heading into next weekend on Saturday with temperatures. Look at that, only at 87 degrees.